Alright, hi everyone. I know it's an unusual sight to see me like this, but, you know, I'm not brave enough yet to show my face on the internet, so this is the best we can do. If Quiet can do it, so can I. So, I want to talk about a situation that I might be late to. Uh, there, uh, it's already been a few days, so um, has it been a week? Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, the situation is in regards to an athlete. Uh, you may hear of it. It's the athlete by the name Novak Djokovic. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. Jesus Christ. Anyways, so Novak Djokovic, he is a tennis player. Uh, he is a tennis player from Serbia. So, there is currently, as far as I'm concerned, there was, or maybe was, you know, considering all the drama, uh, a tennis tournament in Australia. And initially, Novak Djokovic came to Australia and he was granted an immunity. Oh, not an immunity, he was granted like an exception to the rule. What rule, you may ask? Well, he was granted the exception to the rule of vaccination. Which, in and of itself, is kind of bullshit, if you ask me. But we'll get to that later. So he was granted that permission to go to the tournament, even though he wasn't vaccinated, or at least he did not provide proof that he was indeed vaccinated. So, initially the Australian government gave him that permission to be in a tennis tournament, but then they decided to revoke it, and I, I think that was the correct move, the correct move to make. Because, like, thing is, right? I don't care who the fuck you are. I do not care what your stand is. I don't care if you're wealthy, if you're rich, if you're famous, if you're poor. I don't care if you're the we most well-known athlete in the fucking world. You need to be vaccinated to go to a tournament. And I think that should be the regulation. It's, and it's correct, it's a correct regulation, you have to be vaccinated. And I don't give a shit what his stance is, I don't care what, what you as a person think, like, I don't care if Novak, if Novak thinks that, like, vaccines are terrible and have 5G fucking poison in them and he's gonna fucking become a router and fucking magnetize everything around the room to him, or whatever the fuck they say nowadays, I don't fucking care. He is an athlete. You need to make sacrifices if you are in that position. I don't give a fuck what your stance is. When you're an athlete, you make it happen. You just sacrifice it. But not only that, not only does it, do I have a problem with him not being vaccinated, I have a problem with with both countries, the Serbian government and the Australian government. Now, props to the Australian government for revoking that initial permission. It might have been granted by by someone who is biased. I have no idea. I don't know why it was granted in the first place. I don't know why. Like, I mean, I, I guess the logic was, well, we have to make the, the, the tournament. No. No, no, you don't. If you if you don't if you're not vaccinated, you just don't get to compete. Fuck you. Like that's how it's supposed to be. But I mean, they revoked it. Good on them. Um, but that the, I don't approve of them giving him permission to come to Australia in the first place. Uh, and uh, if they didn't, if they initially didn't give him permission, then it would be less of a stink right now. Or at least, you know, at least there wouldn't be protests in Australia for Novak, which is surprising that there are protests for him, because, like, he is not fucking vaccinated. He should be vaccinated. He has... He's more than capable to be vaccinated, because he is a fucking athlete. Like, he makes more money than me, you, and everyone watching this shitty video combined. Like... Motherfucker, and it's not even that money is a problem. I'm pretty sure vaccines are fucking free because that's how they fucking work. So he is, he has no excuses. And if you were an athlete, oh, don't fucking tell me that you don't do other shit. Like, I'm not t saying that every athlete does doping, but I mean, you have to, as an athlete, 
to at least have like the basic bitch like syringes and all that. You have to base uh, to have the basic bitch like uh, what what do you call them? Uh, he must have had some uh, uh, things. What do you call them? Injections, I guess, uh, against like other viruses. You know, more common things. Because athletes, believe it or not, you know, surprisingly, surprisingly, athletes need to be in shape, in shape, and to be in shape, you have to be in good health, and in good health means you need vaccines, that's the word I was looking for, that's a bitch, you, he, I'm pretty sure he has gotten multiple vaccines, because that's what you do as an athlete, if you don't have vaccines, you can catch a fucking virus and become sick and not be able to perform in a tournament, and the fuck are you gonna do now? Like, that's not how that shit works. Like, I would like to know if Novak has, like, no vaccines at all. And if he does have vaccines, then what the fuck is wrong with this one, in particular? So, my second argument, and my, well, not an argument, but, like, my second gripe is with the Serbian government. And I'd like to know, right, when you're sending an athlete, like, because... He is the, uh, it, this is like a big tournament, right? This is not just any tournament. So obviously the Australian, I mean, not, not Australia, the Serbian government has some ties to it, obviously, because they chose him for that tournament. So here is a riddle and here is a question. Why the fuck did the Serbian government choose him and not check him? Did they think that did the Serbian government think that it's fine to send an athlete who is unvaccinated to perform in a fucking tournament with other people? I... Like, I don't even know if there will be audience there because, you know, COVID, I don't fucking know. Maybe, maybe there will be, like, less people. But still, there will be at least, like, let's guess, it's tennis, it's pretty popular. Let's go with, like, a thousand. Just wild number. Like, still, those are a thousand people that can be infected with COVID if Novak had it. I'm not saying he does, but he might, because guess what? He is not vaccinated. And I'm just amazed that the Serbian government didn't go, Hey, you can't fucking go to Australia. You need to be vaccinated first. And, like, that would, been, that would have solved the issue right off. Because if he had it, he would have said no, then the Serbian government would just have said fuck off. Because it's the Serbian government. Like, it's not like the greatest power in the, in the global ranking. But if, if your government of your country tells you to get vaccinated, you either get vaccinated or you fuck off. Because it's the fucking government. It can do whatever the fuck it wants to. And it could have deported him if, he, if they fucking wanted to. But, I mean, they probably wouldn't have. They probably would have just said, forced him to vaccinate. Which is fine. Which I think is fine. Because he needs to be vaccinated. He's an athlete. Like, that's not... Like, I don't understand how you can be an anti-vaxxer and an athlete. Those two things just don't go together. That's like a flat earther working for NASA. Like, just doesn't make any fucking sense, my guy. And I don't understand why he's making such a scene out of it. Just get fucking vaccinated like everyone else, you dickhead. Like, stop putting people's fucking lives in, da in danger because you of your views. The, him not getting vaccinated because he is an athlete is like an equivalent to me as if... if uh, a popular band member of a band didn't get vaccinated. Like, imagine if, um, like, who, who performs still? Fucking System of a Down. I think they still perform. Like, imagine if System of a Down, if Serge, if Serge from System of a Down didn't get vaccinated for a concert. Imagine that. Just imagine, like, like a crowd of thousands of people and he is not vaccinated. That sounds fucking terrible, doesn't it? Yes, it sure fucking does, because it is. Because you can't just expose people to yourself when you're not fucking vaccinated. When you are a performer that performs in front of you. Now, granted, 
Serge is much closer to the stage, he's on the stage, and the people are down there. Granted, this guy, he is like, played tennis, so he's not exactly near people, but still, he is near people enough, um, in like the locker rooms and stuff, to the point where, if he had COVID, he might spread it to other athletes, and other athletes might spread it to other people. So, yeah, I don't fucking understand how this all happened. I don't understand how the Serbian government greenlit this guy in the first place and didn't question... Like, they, did they not run a singular background check? Did they not have, like, a... Did they not have a system where they go, hmm, let's see, is this, is this guy vaccinated? No, oh, well, that's a fucking interesting, isn't it? Like... I know it's fucking Serbia, I get it, it's not the most luxurious of all countries, but still, you have to have standards, my guy. You have to. Check your fucking athletes, check your check the people that you send internationally, because now you're stuck in this fucking position where the Serbian... Uh, you know what? Even better, I'm pretty sure right now the Serbian government is trying to protect him, which is bullshit. Why are you trying to protect your athlete who is a disgrace for not getting vaccinated? What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, you're just making your image of your country worse. The best thing you could have done is apologized and just made him get the vaccine or took him the fuck out of the country, uh, Australia. And took him back to you and just made him vaccinated or something. That's the best. Or even better. Whenever that shit came out, what the Serbian government should have done is just told him to go get vaccinated. What else would he fucking do in that situation? Say no and go back to Serbia and not be in the tournament? Imagine being a top tennis player on... I'm assuming... I think he's pretty good, right? Well, I mean, he's the best in Serbia, apparently. Uh, and imagine being that and being like, not being able to go to the tournament. And... <laughs> I mean, you can imagine that, because he's not going. I don't understand why he's putting so much of a fight over a goddamn vaccine. It is impressive how, like, the, the situation should not be this difficult. It shouldn't. You are an athlete. Just get vaccinated. Don't be a dickhead. Again, I don't give a fuck who you are. Even if you were the queen of fucking England, I still want you to be vaccinated because I don't want people who are not vaccinated around me because I don't want to fucking die. <laughs> Believe it or not, I value my life for what it's worth. Not worth much, but you know, still, I don't think I'd like to die yet. <laughs> So, yeah, just don't, just fucking get vaccinated and just play your fucking tennis. Play your fucking game where you hit a ball with a goddamn stick. Like, it's just over that. Like, we're, we're currently arguing, the two countries currently arguing against, they're currently arguing about a sport where you hit a, hit a ball with a stick. Just go like that, just That's all you do. That's pretty much it. And that's what the argument is about. I... There's, there is no argument. Just get fucking vaccinated, dickhead. Just fucking... Stop putting people in danger. Just get fucking vaccinated. Anyway, that, that's, that's all my thoughts to it. Just, I don't understand how Serbia is protecting him. I don't know why they didn't check him in the first place. And I don't know why the Australian government greenlit it in the first place. They shouldn't have. They should, they absolutely should not have. Like, I am of the same opinion that, uh, when I said earlier that I don't care who you are, you need to be vaccinated. I'm of the same opinion that I don't care what tournament you enter, there should not be any exceptions. You, countries should not make exceptions for people. There should not be exceptions for athletes for not being vaccinated. That is not a thing. Either get vaccinated or get the fuck out. Like, imagine if Tiger Woods um, uh, went to a fucking tournament and was like, Hey, by the way, I'm not vaccinated, but I'm Tiger Woods. <laughs> like, 
At that point, you just go and say, you should, at that point, you should say, no, I don't care if you get your Tiger Woods, go get vaccinated, fuck off. That's, that that's, should be the procedure. It should not matter who you are, an, an athlete, a famous person, it doesn't matter. There should not be exceptions for vaccinations. The government should not make such exceptions. I don't know why they did. They shouldn't have, absolutely not. But... Here we are. They have, and they now... Re I mean, good on them, like I said, they revoked it. But, I mean, they just shouldn't have accepted it. And I wonder if there are going to be consequences, because I wonder who, like, greenlit it. Because someone, obviously, in the government uh, went with it. Someone, obviously, greenlit it. And I wonder, like, who and why. Like, I just want to know the reason why it was greenlit in the first place. Why was he given an exception? It... And if it's just because he's a tennis player, a famous tennis player, then I call bullshit. Anyway, that's about it. See ya.